So you are shopping around and looking for the best fish finder for a beginner or just if you're not a beginner. You're checking YouTube videos, you're checking kayak review out online and you're still like, what is good? Let me save you all that time and effort. I'm gonna break down my unit and why I think it's the best unit for a beginner kayak fisherman or intermediate or even advanced. First off, here's some things you want to consider before buying one. How much money are you willing to spend? How often are you actually going to use the unit? Oh, I'm just buying it for the looks, Eric. Every one of my buddies has a fish finder and it looks cool. But I don't have a clue what a fish finder does. Don't be that guy. Don't be just buying one because everyone else has one. Make sure you're going to buy one and use it. You know, for example, I've taken out my dragonfly in the last 60 trips about 15 times. I don't use it that often, but when I do, it's a great useful tool. So don't drop tons of money, especially in something you just bought for looks or you're not sure how to use it. Number two, what type of fish are you fishing for? You know, uh, if you're fishing one shallow creek for bass, then there's not many areas to throw a frog. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a fancy high-tech machine product that's going to tell you the depth if you're fishing shallow water all the time. All right? If you're fishing oceans or new waters and all that, then yeah, you probably need one. If you're fishing brim, fishing crappie, for sure you need a fish finder for fishing crappie. And consider what is your main purpose of having one? Are you needing to check the depth? Eric, I'm working a bank, but I don't know how far that bank drops off and I'm throwing a KVD crankbait uh, 1.5 that goes from two to five feet. But unfortunately, my crankbait is really, really high in the water column. The fish are down low and I don't know what to throw. I didn't have a fish finder, so I didn't know, so I had to stick my pole down in the water and see the depth. So um, fish finders are great for that. Water temperature is important, especially for bass fishing and crappie fishing. You need to know where you're at. Are you needing a chart? Are you needing a GPS, a mapping system? Um, are you uh, needing just to find some fish, find some structure? Those are a few things that you want to consider before even buying one. What do you need it for? How much you're willing to spend? and are you actually going to use the product? So let's get to why I think this fish finder is one of the best. Stay tuned. So I've had three fish finders. This is my third one actually. I've had a Lowrance. I've had a Garmin. With the Garmin, I only technically kept it for two weeks. I just did not like it and I took it back. Um, that way I could still get my money back or upgrade to something else. And number three, after that Garmin, this is why I bought instead. So here's the Raymarine Dragonfly Pro 4. This has all the features that you need for a beginner. For starting out, even if you're not a beginner, this has got all the great features that you need just to get by with the inexpensive but great fish finder. So let me show you those features. This is why I love the Raymarine Dragonfly Pro 4 so much. See the buttons here? Well, there's not many buttons to work with. It's very, very simple, it's easy, and there's not 60 buttons you gotta push. So I like the Raymarine Dragonfly, how the screen set up. It's a little bit, you can see a lot more coning through live versus the Lowrance where it was just, you know, you had like four seconds to see anything versus this one you have a lot longer time to view it when it starts fresh each time. So um, there's plenty of videos out there that just breaks down the Raymarine itself. So I'll save the time on this video and bypass that. So right now I'm just in down scan only. And here's the three top features that I was looking for when selecting a fish finder. And this is why I love the Raymarine Dragonfly series so much. Uh, so right now I'm in uh, just the down scan. If uh, let's say, oh, there's some great structure. It's holding crappie or bass or whatever. Uh, I want to uh, mark that spot with the waypoint. Just push any of your arrows right here, and it's going to bring up a cursor. So you can push down, you can push left, right, um, and it'll pop that up. Now you can use your cursor to move in over that spot and mark that structure point. That way the next time you're fishing, you'll all know exactly where it's at. You don't have to waste too much time finding it. So you'll push OK after you got your cursor where you need to be. And it's already highlighted the place waypoint and you hit OK again and it'll save that spot in your memory log. It's that easy. Let's back off. I don't really want to do it in stimulated mode, waste any memory. 
Um, so again, just push an arrow. Oh, there goes the cursor. Let's move our cursor over that structure. Push OK. It, sorry, highlight. I push OK again. That easy. All right, let's uh, let's check out some other features. Let's go to our scroll. So that was down vision only. Here's just traditional sonar only. As a beginner, traditional is very hard to read. That's why when you select a fish finder, look for a fish finder that does down scan and traditional. You can learn uh, what you're seeing on that traditional when you run them side by side. And this was what great about Ray Marine. You can run them on top of each other. So I'm like, uh, what is that? What is that? So if you look here, it just looks like some overlay of a brush pile. All right. You see up here, those are those fish arches or what is that? Bait fish, what? Look down here, you can see the bigger blobs compared to the balls of bait. So that's why I love having both side by side. You learn the traditional, at the same time, you can see it more clearly and what exactly you're looking at. So let's back up. Another reason why I love the Ray Marine is you can run a chart. Yes, this Ray Marine inexpensive unit has chart and down scan. So I'm not sure what it's going to run through because um, it's stimulated mode, but uh, you can run down scan and you can uh, run your uh, chart at the same time. Let's say I just ran over a brush pile here and I want to mark that on my map. So just hit any of your arrows. Oh, and I want to mark right there at that point. Hit OK again and place that waypoint. Great about the Ray Marine is it gives you Navionics for free for a year. It gives you a preloaded card with uh, any lake in the United States or further out. I'm not sure. The only place I really fish in is the United States. But um, what's cool about it as well, I mainly fish the region with Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas area. So I can go into Navionics and upload that region in great detail for free as long as my memory card allows it. So that's what I did. I got even more details, more waypoints. Um, just from going in that specific region and downloading it. So, Ray Marine Dragonfly is a great series for... And it's got great features to it. It's got everything you need to get started on. Or, um, even if you're advanced or intermediate, it's got all the features you really need. You know, one thing that's came out here is late in the last two years is side imaging. This does not have side imaging, this series, but Ray Marine does have a unit that does have side imaging, but it's going to cost you on that upper scale. You're getting out of the 300 or less dollar range and you're going to that next tier. So, um, but for what I use it for and what um, features I'm wanting, the Ray Marine Dragonfly 4 is all I need and it's at a great price point. This unit here cost me about $250. So, uh, it's another great feature about this product is it's already RAM mount ready. So, it comes with that ball already that you see installed in the unit. And then um, you just have to order the length of the arm you really want or the extension. So, sorry, pre made for RAM, which is RAM is a uh, RAM mount, is a really easy way to mount any type of gear to your kayak. So it's just, uh, could be even one hoe or just one little track well nut, and that's it. Another great feature is I'm in the settings menu. And you see the Wi-Fi settings? You can turn the Wi-Fi settings on and it will link up to your cell phone. That way if you have a friend that's floating near you and he doesn't have a fish finder, <clears throat> he can actually uh, view what um, you're seeing at the same time. Or <clears throat> if you want a closer look at it and use your cell phone that's in your hand versus your fish finder that's down the hole of your kayak then um, you can zoom in on that even better with your cell phone so great features with this Ray Marine inexpensive fish finder but you have just a chart by itself the sonar traditional by itself down vision you can split the screens and just overall this is a great unit so as a beginner do you need all those fancy features in the Antizer dispenser underneath that Lowrance? No, you don't need it. Just keep it simple. You know, get the main features that are very useful. The depth, the water temperature, the, you know, down scan, traditional, and GPS chart mapping and stuff like that. That's all you really need to be successful out there in the water. 
You know, all those other features are great, especially side imaging and kayak fishing, but they are expensive units. So uh, first off, start off small. Don't get the most expensive unit out there. Start off in the um, less expensive bracket. Make sure you're going to use that fish finder. If you only use it every once in a while, you just throw all that money down the drain and you're trying to sell that unit on a kayak group on Facebook. So don't be that person, all right? You're not going to get your money back. So start off small. Make sure you use the unit. You really don't need a fancy unit because inexpensive, awesome units have all those great features, except for a few select. This is my review and just a small little taste of what the Raymarine Dragonfly series has to offer us kayak fishermen. Um, this unit is completely waterproof. Uh, I've seen videos where people capsize their kayak and this is underwater and they flip it back over, it's still working. It just depends on uh, your wiring and if it's waterproof or not. So, but the unit itself, it'll be fine. So it's a great unit, inexpensive unit with all the great features that you need to be successful out there on the water. So I hope this video helps you. Um, I wish I would have known about it before I bought a Lowrance and a Garmin and had end up selling those on an online kayak group yard sale page or taking it back to Bass Pro because I didn't like it and upgraded to this one. So I wish this video was out there before um, I purchased mine. So that's why I'm trying to help you out, especially if you're a beginner in kayak fishing. Check out the Dragonfly Pro 4 Series. It's inexpensive and it's got all the great features you need. And I am not sponsored by them. I don't know these guys, I just love their products. So check them out and uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you uh, thought this was useful. Make a little comment You're like, Eric, uh, pfft, you don't know what you're talking about. The Larance such and such DVRZTV is the best unit for kayak fishing, blah, blah, blah. There's gonna be a lot of opinions out there, but in my opinion for a beginner, you can't go wrong with this unit, and that's what I'm suggesting. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and make a comment. And thanks for watching Itching to Fish.